Hi everyone, I'm Karen. I'm one of the zonal physiotherapy leads for Swim England and also a Pilates instructor. Our spines naturally have three gentle curves. In the lower back, you have a lordosis, so the spine curves inwards. In the mid back, there's a curving outwards called a kyphosis, and in the neck, there's another lordosis. These curves are really important to help our spine absorb shock. So simply trying to be aware of these curves and imagining a lengthening spine can really help you improve your posture. It's a bit more difficult to maintain the spinal curves in sitting, but still really important. As you can see in the first diagram, this person's lower back and mid back are more slumped, and this results in her hinging in her neck, putting more stress on the upper neck. So make sure whatever position you're in, that you are trying to keep your spine in a good alignment. And don't forget to get up and move regularly. Our joints like to be moved, so even if you're in a good position, make sure you are moving frequently. Time for some exercises now. So make sure you're wearing something comfortable that you can move in and ideally have an exercise mat, a small towel and a foam roller to hand. Start in standing and take a big backwards roll of the shoulders. Pop your hands on your pelvis and just tip your pelvis forwards and backwards a few times. We're going to try and find the neutral spine position and that should be halfway between the forward tipped position and the backward tip position and it should feel fairly natural and relaxed. Take another big backward circle with your shoulders and interlink your fingers. As you breathe out, reach your hands up to shoulder height, breathe in to rest and breathe out as you reach your hands right up to the ceiling, looking up towards your fingertips. Breathe out as you come back down again. So breathe out to lift, Breathe in to hold the stretch and breathe out to come back down to shoulder height. As you're doing this exercise, try and maintain a neutral spine position and imagine a connection between the bottom of your ribs and your pelvis. And that connection should remain fairly similar in length. Avoid letting the ribs flare out as you do this movement. As you breathe out this time, stretch both arms up above your head. Then you're going to stretch alternate hands up towards the ceiling. So reach with one hand, breathe in to hold it, and breathe out as you stretch to the other side. You should feel a good stretch down through the side of your trunk on this exercise. I will talk you through the recommended breathing, but don't worry if you don't get it quite right. Just try and avoid holding your breath. Okay, we're gonna do some roll downs now. So come to one end of your mat and start with that neutral spine position and just start with the upper neck, tuck your chin in and roll down towards the floor. Take a breath in when you get there. And as you breathe out, tuck the pelvis underneath first and try and roll back up one segment of the spine at the time. The neck should be the last thing to come back up. So breathing in to hold and breathing out as you roll back up again. Just hang and have a stretch in that position for a moment and then when you're ready, bring yourself down onto all fours on the mat. Step one leg between your two hands and interlink the thumbs to stretch up and back. Push your pelvis forward, stretching out your hip flexors and then come back into a hamstring stretch. As you stretch backwards, try and keep the back long. And as you fold forwards over your front leg, you should feel a stretch through your hamstrings. And if you want to increase that stretch, you can push your pelvis back behind you.
come back to all fours and then switch legs. So same again, interlinking the thumbs, reach backwards and push your pelvis forwards to feel a good stretch through your hip flexors. And lean forwards over the front leg to feel a hamstring stretch. Keep going in your own time, but remember to breathe. and bring yourself back onto all fours and then carefully lower yourself onto the mat. You might just want a small towel to put underneath your forehead for comfort here. Stretch both arms up above your head and we're just gonna lift opposite arms and legs. So just to remind you of the breathing on this one, you're going to breathe out as you lift, breathe in to hold and breathe out as you lower. Don't worry about trying to lift too high. It's about thinking of a length and being as long as you can from your big toe all the way through to the tips of your fingers. Try and maintain that neutral spine position and avoid arching in your lower back. Pop your hands under your shoulders and just carefully arch backwards. This is a really nice stretch for your upper back. So as you lift up, try and lift through your neck first and then your upper spine and gradually down towards your lower spine. And as you lower, you're going to reverse. So drop your tummy first and roll back down onto the mat. If you want to add the breathing, you're gonna breathe out as you lift Breathe in to hold and then breathe out again to lower. Take your knees wide and sit back onto your heels stretching through your back. Take a few breaths in this position. Then when you're ready, take yourself to lie on your side on the mat with your arms out in front and your head resting on the towel. Feet should be in line with your pelvis and make sure your spine is in that neutral position. Then as you breathe out, you're gonna stretch the upper arm up and back behind you, stretching your upper back and your pecs. Breathe in to hold and breathe out as you come back to that start position. Make sure your pelvis remains stacked in a neutral position and don't let it roll backwards as you rotate back. It can help if you imagine that you're pushing the pelvis on the upper side forwards to resist that temptation for it to roll backwards. Then in your own time, change to the other end of your mat and we can stretch out the other side. So lying on your side, arms out in front of you, spine in neutral, feet in line with your pelvis and then exhale as you rotate the arm and the upper body backwards. Keep looking at your fingertips so you get a good rotation through your upper back and neck.
Then move the towel out the way and bring yourself to lie on your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Make sure your spine is in that neutral spine position and your hips, knees and feet are all in a parallel line. Relax your arms down by the side and we're gonna start with some bridging. So tip your pelvis backwards and peel your spine one vertebra at a time up so that you're resting on the shoulders. And as you lower, lower your upper back first, rolling back down. So breathe out to lift, breathe in to hold, and breathe out as you roll back down again. Now, you can stick with this exercise, or if you want to progress on, you can bring your arms up above your head, and then lower back down one vertebra at a time, and you'll feel this increases the stretch through your back and through your lats. So, arms above the shoulder, breathe out to roll up, breathe in to hold as you stretch your arms above your head, and then breathe out as you roll your spine back down onto the mat. So breathe out as you lift up, stretch the arms overhead, and again, breathe out to roll back down again. Bring yourself up into a sitting position, knees bent and feet resting on the floor. Take your arms out in front to 90 degrees and then tip backwards, rolling off of your sitting bones as you breathe out to a deep C spine position. Then rock forwards and extend once you get to the top. So breathe out as you lean back, breathe in as you come back up. This time, breathe out to drop backwards and then breathe in as you open one arm to the side and breathe out to come back. So breathe in to rotate, breathe out to come back. So this is a good challenge for your abdominals, but also getting some rotation through your thoracic spine. Let's do another set like that. So lean back and open up with one arm, stretch behind as far as you can. And return to the start position, well done. If you've got a foam roller, grab it now, but if you don't, that's fine. Start in a side sitting position with one hand on the foam roller. Lift the other arm up above your head and then just stretch away using that foam roller to help you glide. Try and stay long through the spine and reach across. So breathe out as you stretch away and breathe in as you come back to the start position. Try and keep the weight evenly distributed between both of the sitting bones. Just gonna change it slightly now. So stretch across and then pop the other hand on the foam roller as well. And this time you're just rolling the foam roller away and back in. So breathe out to stretch away and breathe in to come back in. And you should start to feel a really nice stretch through your lats in this position. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So scoot your legs round to the other side Pop one hand on the foam roller, float the other arm up above your head, and then breathe out to stretch away. 
and breathe in to come back. Try and make sure the spine is remaining long and that you're not collapsing forwards in this position. Then rotate around, pop both hands on the foam roller and just breathe out as you stretch away and breathe in as you draw the foam roller back towards you. Bring yourself back round onto all fours and then sit back onto your heels again for another shell stretch. Just take a few breaths here. Now come back onto all fours, tuck your toes under, come up onto your feet and carefully roll yourself back up into a standing position. couple of gentle stretches to finish with. So this one's called the corkscrew. So again, standing with a good neutral spine position, you're going to stretch your arms up above your head, drop them behind your head, shrug your shoulders, release your shoulders, stretch up tall, and then relax your arms down again. So keep going like that. Shrug, lower your shoulders, stretch the arms, and drop them back down again. So you can carry on with a few more of those stretches, but that pretty much brings us to the end of today's session. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it beneficial, and I hope it's made you more aware of looking after your posture as you go through your daily activities. Bye for now.